Methods of Separation of Mixtures A mixture is formed by combining two or more substances that do not react chemically. It contains the molecules of the substances it is made up of. The different substances present in a mixture are called its components. Many methods are used to separate the components of a mixture. Let us understand some common methods of separation of solids from other solids. Threshing After the wheat or rice crop is harvested, the grains are first separated from the stalks. This is known as threshing. It is done either by beating the stalks on the ground or hard surface, by trampling the harvested wheat or rice using animals or by using a mechanical thresher. Winnowing After threshing, the grains are separated from the mixture of grain and chaffs is obtained. The mixture is allowed to fall from a height. The breeze blows away the chaff while the grain falls down almost vertically. The chaff forms a heap at a little distance away from the heap of grain. This process is known as winnowing. Sieving When the constituents of a mixture have particles of different sizes, a sieve can be used to separate them. A sieve with fine pores is used to separate undesirable substances in flour. A sieve with bigger pores is used at construction sites to separate stones from sand. Hand picking Undesirable substances such as pieces of stones in rice or dal can be separated by hand picking. This method is convenient when the undesirable components are present in small quantities. Sedimentation, decantation, filtration and loading are different methods which are used to separate insoluble solids from the liquids. In sedimentation, heavier particles of an insoluble solid in a liquid are allowed to settle down. These heavy particles form the sediment. The liquid is separated from the sediments by using decantation. In this process, the liquid is poured out in such a way that the sediment is not disturbed. If a solid dissolves in a liquid, decantation cannot be used to separate them. Filtration is used to separate tea leaves from tea. In this method, the tea is poured through a strainer into a cup. The tea leaves are left behind in the strainer and the liquid flows out. Evaporation, condensation and distillation are methods used to separate soluble solids from liquids. Evaporation is the process of turning from liquid into gas. The soil that we use at home is mostly obtained by evaporating seawater. Seawater is collected in shallow ponds and allowed to evaporate in the sun. Salt is left behind and collected for use. Condensation is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water. Distillation is the method of obtaining pure liquid from a solution. The solution is heated so that the liquid evaporates. The vapors are then cooled and condensed to obtain pure liquid. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.